Okay, so we got our parts. Uh, place the order on eBay on Friday. The coil came in on Tuesday and everything else come in on Wednesday. So I got them a whole lot quicker than I thought I would. Uh, everything looks real good. Doesn't look like anything got damaged in shipping. Uh, the alternator, it's, uh, it's kind of surprising once you get it get it in your hand how small this thing is. But, you know, that's one of the uh, positive attributes of this uh, alternator and one of the reasons, you know, a lot of guys like it because you can tuck it up under the hood real well uh, and kind of hide it. So we're going to do our best to do that. Alternator also came with a sheet of specs. Um, different, you know, output current at different RPMs and stuff, uh, maximum outputs. And, uh, you know, it also does say uh, this alternator has an internal voltage regulator. So it's kind of nice to read that again because that's an important thing, you know, when you're uh, doing these conversions. So uh, we got our parts now. We just need to get them put on the tractor. So that's the next step, and I'll update you then. Okay, so we got the cub moved back over here to its, the proper workspace in my little shop here, right up against the uh, workbench. Um, the last couple of little videos I made on it, you know, when we were preparing for this 12 volt conversion, it was sitting over off to the side because I had a, uh, a little Case IH255 tractor. I did a head uh, gasket replacement on and also rebuilt all four hydraulic cylinders on that so if you guys want to consider subscribing uh, i'm working on stuff all the time out here in the garage so you never know what i'm going to be working on and i try to do as detailed videos as i can you know to try to help uh, other guys out i get a lot of info off of youtube so i'm just trying to you know help the next guy out too when i'm tinkering on something and, and make a movie of it so anyhow consider subscribing and uh, you'll see those uh, other projects so uh anyhow back to the cub here we got to uh we got all our parts in so uh what we need to do now because we're doing a conversion and all this wiring is kind of crap anyhow need to get rid of all these wires so uh i'm gonna remove the wires off of here get them out of the way uh, i gotta get that generator off uh, get the coil out of the way and uh, kind of clean it up so that we can uh, prepare for uh mocking up that uh, alternator bracket so I'm going to do that now, get these wires out of the way, get the generator and the coil out of the way, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I started pulling the wires off the cub, and uh, you know, I got on a little detour here with the, the light switch. Uh, pulled the wires off of it, you know, I thought, you know what, I'll just go ahead and clean that up. And yeah, while I'm cleaning it up, I'll go ahead and probe it out and see how well it's working and everything. Um, so this is my setup here. I got a hot wire running around to a battery, uh, and then I got my uh, uh, probe. Uh, just clamped onto the negative terminal on the battery there. So I got 12 volts running to the switch. So I mean, you know, this, this just kind of shows that, you know, you can run 12 volts to this switch and it ain't going to hurt it. So you can reuse the same switch, whether it be a 6 volt or 12 volt conversion. Uh, but I got a 20 amp fuse in there. I cleaned up the fuse holder a little bit. Of course, everything's all cruddy and nasty. And what I'm doing here is I'm uh, probing these uh, uh, terminals to determine, you know, which how I'm going to wire this thing up because this switch is a little funky. Um, you'll see I got zero volts there and I mean I'm not going to go through everything you know with all the positions but if I turn the switch that's in the off position. Um, let's see how many hands I got here. So I just barely register any voltage at all and that's the same on all these. Uh, then when I turn to the first position you'll hear it click. That first little click there I'm getting just the same it, that, so that first position, and I'm probing all four of these terminals, um, that first position is not functioning. Uh, and I'm not real worried about it, to be honest with you. Um, as long as I can get headlights, I'm, I'll be happy, you know, and, and uh, actually I'm probing it out and I can get rear lights too. So this will be the second position here. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so that's the second position. Okay, so I got voltage there. Now these two are tied together. There's a metal strap under there. So I got the same voltage there. This one's also hot. So I got voltage there, but no voltage up here. Now if I, posi if I switch it to the last position, okay, that's all the way over. Now what happens is I still got voltage here and here. Again, these two are tied together. This one now is dead, but I have power to that last one. So what I'm going to do I'm going to wire my headlights up to this one, and then I'm going to wire my taillights up to this one. So it'll be, the positions of the switch will be dead, headlights, headlights, and taillights. 
That's it's as simple as it's going to be. I'm sure that ain't the way the factory wants it or whatever, but again, it's going to be off to nothing. Headlight, headlight, and taillight. So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to work on uh, a little wiring diagram here. I'll put together and I'll put put that on this video too. So uh, it'll break down how I'm wiring this up on the backside too. Okay, so I got on another detour while I'm doing this wiring. I went ahead and pulled the ammeter out of the dash and I uh, figured, well, I'd check that voltmeter just to make sure it fits in the dash. So it does. Uh, and again, this is a generic, uh, it called it, you know, said it was for a Massey or whatever, but it's just generic. Uh, originally, I didn't plan on using uh, uh, the light. This post here is what you, uh, you can run a wire to if you want this thing to light up. This is illuminated voltmeter. So like if you turn your headlights on, you can run a wire from the headlight switch to this. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now because uh, I just tested it and it does kind of look nice. So, you know, when the headlights are on, you'll be able to see what your voltage is doing. So I'm going to do that. Uh, this post over here goes to the to the battery, uh, the positive side on the battery. And again, this, this system now is going to be a negative ground. It's going to be 12 volt negative ground, just like your car or your truck or whatever. So this is going to go to the positive side on the battery and that it is marked down there. It's kind of hard to see here. Um, but this post here is called for a uh, negative battery. I don't want it running, uh, well, I don't want to run two wires to this thing because this is, this is a ground. So I, I don't want to rely on the dash to make a good contact and good ground with this. Um, so rather than running two wires to the battery for ground, I'm going to run something together here. I was going to put a wire with a couple of ring terminals, you know, just a short little stub of wire to, to tie these two together. Um, but I can't get the ring terminals fit in there. It's so close. I mean, we're talking three quarters of an inch gap, something like that. So these, like these little blue ring terminals here, um, I can't get them to fit in there. I can't fit two of them. So what I come up with, uh, I got an old piece of little stub of Romex laying here. I pulled the ground wire out of it and I just pounded the shit out of it on my anvil there. And it's actually wide enough where I think I can drill that and make that a strap to tie the two together. So I'm going to see if I can do that. Okay, here we go. I got back on task. I uh, went ahead and uh, pulled off all the wiring. Pulled out. Uh, you can tell I got everything out of the dash there. Got all the wires off of it and uh, pulled the generator and uh, voltage regulator will come off of one piece. So there's two bolts that hold the bottom of the bracket on uh, and then up here on the upper water pipe, the upper generator bracket comes off and that was just that one half inch head bolt. Uh, the coil comes off, just one bolt hold that on right here. Uh, so I got, you know, pretty much the biggest part of the electrical system is, is laying right here. Um, now you saw I'm going to be reusing the uh, light switch and I've also tested the push-pull switch. So I'm going to reuse that. Uh, it's good. Uh, next thing is going to be uh, fitting this uh, alternator up there and uh, start fabricating a bracket. 